Alrighty, so this is an open tag response to Knife Delight's Show Me Your Stockman's open tag. So I just thought I would show you all my Stockman's. So I have 11 Chinese made Stockman's here and 16 Stockman's that are made in the USA. So 27 total. The Stockman is my most collected pattern at this moment, right, B, or right, right ahead of the Barlow. Um, I did get rid of some of my Stockman's a few weeks ago uh, just to recycle some of my knife funds but um, i'm gonna start over here with the usa made ones this is the buck 307 wrangler i believe so this is i think the largest stockman that buck makes or made and it's pretty on par size wise with the case jumbo stockman and this is the case cv version so we got that nice patina, but the amber jigged seed bone, peach seed bone. I really like this knife. And then I have a, a yellow ranger knife. Rancher, a oh, ranger ultra honed. Province USA. I think this is made by Colonial, if I'm not mistaken. So just one of their off brands, but a nice yellow in stainless steel. This is a large Stockman size, but a little smaller than the Jumbo Stockman. Then I have the famous Buck 301. Y'all know the Buck 301. Stainless steel, but then you have those three back springs instead of the traditional two and stainless liners. So no brass on this knife. And then I have the Uncle Henry 885 King Ranch in that plastic staglon material, but just a standard Stockman size. And then I have the brother of the Uncle Henry is this Old Timer 8OT. Actually, I believe this is the 89OT, so it has a serrated sheep's foot blade. Yeah, so that's what's different about the 8OT and the 89OT. A nice old timer, and this is in carbon steel. Then I have this cool Camillus. This is in like a plastic jigged material. This one is from Camillus. A standard Stockman. Camillus, New York, USA. Very good knife. But again, a large Stockman. And then I have one from K-Bar. You have these rounded bolsters. This one is pretty used. K-Bar 1100 USA. I believe these are stainless steel blades, but they have been rusted out. I've had to restore this knife quite a bit. Got on eBay, but a good looking knife for sure. And then I have this Cutmaster, which is pretty similar to the K-Bar. No shield on it, but you do have those plastic jigged handles. Cutmaster Utica, New York, USA. Very good looking knife. And then continuing with the rounded bolster serpentine is this Baron Sun Stockman. Got those nice wood covers, no shield, stainless blade, bare. MGC USA. But all these are just your standard Stockman three bladed pattern. So here is a rep representation from Bear and Son. Then I have two more bucks. Here is an older buck, I think 701. Yeah, 701. Buck does not make these anymore. This was supposed to be the higher end Stockman comparable to the Buck 30, oh, oops, the 307, Buck 301. 
we just have upgraded handles and it's pretty much a different shape. And here is the Buck 703, the smaller version of the 701, just more compact, but stainless steel blades, wood covers, and that Buck shield. Good size knife, comparable to the Buck 303. Then I have a Uncle Henry Serpentine Stockman in that Staglon. I believe this is the 897. Oh. Yeah, 897, Trade Plus. So stainless steel blades. The nice serpentine, comparable to the case Stockman. And this one, this case is in CV. Got that yellow Delrin. This one has not been used yet. Got it off eBay. Pretty new. But a nice stockman. Then I have one of my favorites, the Old Timer 34. It's like a, a medium stockman in carbon steel. Just a very good size. And that Delrin is beautiful. Just classic, classic Schrade Delrin. So that's the 34 OT. And they have the mini one, the 108 OT old timer. Also carbon steel blades, but just mini version. You can see that patina and the use. It's a lot smaller than the 34. So there are my USA made stockmans and I'll go through a quick the Chinese made. So this is a Chinese made old timer 858 lumberjack. This is a pretty big stockman. It's bigger than the jumbo stockmans. So here's a size comparison, a little longer. My largest stockman, but just a standard stockman pattern you have. 9CR8 MOV steel, so upgraded steel than the other um, old timer knives that are made in China. I believe these, those are 7CR13. And then these are bone covers. So you white bone, like this black coloring on it. I did sandpaper this down a little bit because the coloring was not transitioned well. And I'll show you an example of that. So the 858 Lumberjack. Here is the 8OT in white bone. And then you can see that black, it's just like white and then black. I would prefer a smooth transition, but this is also the 9CR8 MOV steel. This is supposed to be the same size as the 8OT or 89OT. So USA made, Chinese made. Both very good knives. And this one goes for like 20 something dollars. It's not a bad knife and the steel is more than useful. So then I have a, a large Stockman from Rough Rider. This one is the yellow classic carbon series. So you got these T10 carbon steel blades. Very good knife, very traditional yellow composite handle, two back springs. This one is the RR1740, half stops. There's the Rough Rider. And then I have a, a Snap-on branded Stockman with this white bone, kind of looking like stag, very nice. Very good looking knife. But this one is from, I can't remember what company it is. It even has a phone number on the back of this main clip point blade, but stainless steel blades. I can't remember the exact company that makes this knife or made it. 
snap-on. And then I have the Buck 371, which is just the Chinese made version of the 301. You have these bone covers. 371. So same size as the 301. But the 371 is a lot cheaper since it is made in China. We have 420J stainless steel instead of 420HC. And then I have a Queen City. Very nice serpentine, large stockman size. That socket bone is just really beautiful. Stainless steel blades. Half stop. Queen. Very nice knife. Get that Queen shield. Then I have a very inexpensive, good looking knife. This is an Imperial Schrade Stockman in this cracked ice. And this one I got for like $6 or $6.99. Very good knife for the price. Walk and talk is great. Very good snap on them. I think this is 3CR13 or maybe 7CR steel. So pretty budget steel, but it'll still work. And for six or seven dollars, you can't beat it. Nice covers, good fit and finish. Pretty smooth all around, but a good stockman for the money, in my opinion. Cracked eye stockman from Imperial. And then I have another Rough Rider. This is the heavy forged stockman. So it's a pretty thick knife. Got these nice brown bone. And you have these T10 carbon steel blades. And on the blades, you can see there's like a imprint. I think it's supposed to imitate a hammer forging, but good looking blades, but a very thick knife. You can see these blades aren't cranked. So they're resting on three back springs. That's why it's so thick. And the blades are even thicker, so this thick spine, but pretty good blade shapes, even for this bay. Good shape on that blade. This is like a medium sized stockman. And then I have a Buck 373. This is their Chinese version of the medium stockman. Comparable to the Buck 303, I do not have one right now. I will soon be getting one. And then I have a, a Chinese made Uncle Henry. And this one is the 834. Limited edition. I think this is 7CR13 steel. You have that plastic imitation Staglon. It's, it is not actually Staglon, but made to look like it. But a good user knife. I got this in a pack of like three knives at Cabela's a while ago. And then last is this small Rough Rider white bone stockman that I burnt myself. So that burnt bone effect. But three blades, very comparable to the Schrade 108 OT. So like same size, pretty much. This one is from Rough Rider. All right, there are my stockmans. Hope you enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more videos about traditionals. All right, thanks.